Guys, NRL vid 090 back here with another video today. Today I'm getting to my round seven NRL tips for uh, 2020. Um, so let's get into it. So the first game at Nostrad Jubilee Stadium. So this game was originally going to be played at Campbelltown, but due to some uh, concerns with the pitch, uh, it's been uh, the, well the game has been re relocated to um, Nostrad Jubilee Stadium. So yeah, it's, the Rabbitohs and the Panthers Thursday night footy should be a good game, I reckon. Um, the changes for both teams. So Tom Amone hurt his ankle. Could be apparently out for 12 weeks. So um, not good for Tom. But um, the guy who replaces him on the bench is James Roberts, Jimmy the Jet. So he plays off the bench. That's interesting. Uh, from what it looks like, Panthers are 1-17. to But Brent Naden jo joins the reserves. The Panthers are $1.71. The Rabbers are $2.15. I'm going to tip the Panthers here. I feel like they have a more of a stronger team. Uh, I feel like their forward pack just has more athleticism. Well, not athleticism, but just more skill in general. Just, you know, I feel like they can tower South Sydney's forward pack. I mean, the backs are pretty equal, but again, I think Nathan Cleary will um, do what he did against Storm, really lead the team around, um, Panthers. I feel like Stephen Crichton could be a threat out wide. And I feel like a, a guy who could have a really good game could be Isaiah, Isaiah Yo, and he was fantastic against Melbourne, so... Yeah, I'm going to tip Panthers um, 20 points to 14. Now, moving on to the Friday night game. This is um, the early, earlier game on Friday night. So, it's between the Storm and the Warriors. This game's also been relocated to Nostrada Jubilee uh, Stadium because um, in Victoria, Melbourne, it's been uh, problems there. It's been a bit of an outbreak, so it's not good. But, um, yeah, Storm Warriors it is on Friday night. So, uh, I'm going to go through the team changes. So, Marion Seve is out for the Storm. Looks like I think he's been dropped after having a bad performance against the Panthers. So, um, I oh know because Ad Josh Adokar's back. So he hasn't been dropped. Uh, Marion Seve just because Josh Adokar's back. Um, for the Warriors, I, I like oh, how do you say his how do you, how do you say his first name? Elicia Katoa. Elicia, sorry, Elicia Katoa. Um, apparently injured his ankle, so he might miss one to, one to two weeks. I was uh, reading. And uh, Wade Egan has been suspended for his uh, eye gouge on that Sean Mitchell. So, um, Carl Lawton will, will replace him a hooker. Will, yeah, will replace Egan a hooker. And um, for Katoa, Jack Murchie moves into the back row. And joining the bench is um, Chanel to Harris to Vita. Uh, but, and uh, the odds. Storm $1.17 and the Warriors is $5.10. That's a big odds. Going to tip the Storm here. I know they've been a bit poor lately with some of their form, but I feel like this is the week where they're going to finally bounce back. And um, I don't think it's going to be a thrashing at all. I feel like Warriors will be in it for some minutes, but but the typical Warriors, I think they'll drop out of it and Storm will just complete, will be in uh, complete uh, domination mode. So going to go with the Storm here. Uh, 26 points to 6. Uh, moving on to the other Friday night game. So... It's between the Dragons and the Roosters, and uh, love, I love clashes like this because just with the history, you know, Anzac Day clashes and all that, it's just exciting to see Roosters and Dragons play. Um, and it's at Bankwest Stadium, so, yeah. Now let's get into the team changes. For the, for the Roosters, uh, there was some concern, concern about James Tedesco, but he'll be okay after his concussion. Uh, for the Dragons, well, James Graham's already left, so he uh, won't, obviously won't be back for Dragons at any anymore. So, Jordan, and Jordan, uh, Jordan Pereira is out for, sus for suspension. So, Jason Saab replaces Pereira on the wing, and uh, replacing James Graham at lock is Trent Merrin, and joining the bench is Jackson Ford for the uh, Dragons. The odds, Dragons are $7 on odds, and the Roosters are $1.10. Going to take the Roosters here. Uh, they're going to be too good for the Dragons um, on Friday night. I feel like they're going to ha just have more more talent in their team than the than the Dragons. Uh, I like I love to see Dragons turn up, but Roosters are the better. I think Roosters just will be the better side of the night, and um, yeah, and they'll just uh, put a show on against the Dragons. So I'm going to go the Roosters here, thirty points to eighteen. I feel like Dragons might get some tries. Now, Saturday, uh, Super Saturday football, how good, I love Super Saturday. Um, just uh, getting to draw on my laptop, just to see what the first game is. Uh, 
First game is uh, North Queensland Cowboys take on the Newcastle Knights, and ooh, this is a bit of an interesting clash. Um, for the team changes, uh, Corey Jensen drops out for the Cowboys, and uh, coming off the bench uh, would be... Um, I just had a bit of an Ruben. issue there. But, um, yeah, so I was saying that uh, Ruben Cotter will replace um, Corey Jensen off the bench for the Cowboys. Uh, Fuller Knights, Brad and Best is apparently out for breaching um, a COVID rule. So, uh, Jahama Shibasaki will come into the team at centres. And, yeah, so the odds. The Cowboys are $3.30. The Knights are $1.34. Look, I feel like Knights are going to be the stronger team here. I mean, I'd like to see Cowboys win. Cowboys win but And I believe if Cowboys were at full strength, they would have won this game, I, I reckon. Um, but I feel like Knights are going to... Just I don't know have the have the better of it at the end and um we'll just be there not be there be their day and uh, Cowboys will try I reckon I think it'll be closer than what we think but yeah I reckon Knights will just um they'll be too good for the Cowboys I reckon uh so I'll go over Knights twenty two points to sixteen um so the next game five thirty on Saturday is the uh. The Brisbane Broncos take on the Gold Coast Titans at Suncorp Stadium. Um, yeah, okay, so this is an interesting game. I think, I, I, you know what, I believe either team can win this game, actually, in my opinion. Because Titans have a good record against the uh, Brisbane Broncos, believe it or not. But uh, the changes for team, for both teams. So, for the Broncos, Corey Pakes is out with a bit of an injury, I heard. Patrick Carrigan's out for suspension on what he did to Mitchell Pearce. And uh, Thomas Flegler, I think he's suspended as well, or injured, one of them, but he's out. Um, and uh, Jermaine, Jermaine Azarka has been dropped, and uh, Tessie New will make it, will play fullback. For the Titans, uh, young Tim Mapea, uh got injured in the uh, Dragons clash last week, so replacing him on the wing, uh, uh, who is it? Dale Copley, I think, who comes in in the team. Um, the odds, Titans are $3.37 and, and the Broncos are $1.33. I'm going to tip the Broncos here. I feel like they'll come back. Um, I don't mind Titans, um, Titans back line of Corey Thompson and, and Brian Kelly and Flip Sammy, guys like them. But yeah, I feel like Broncos will be hungry for it. And I feel like that they've just got a, a bit more solid forward pack than the Titans and just... Yeah, and no, I feel like um, Isaac Luke will have a pretty big game for the Broncos. So I'm going to go Broncos here, 28 points to 12. Now, the last game of Super Saturday, and uh, who's that between? It's between the... Uh, oh, that's a good clash. Eels and the Canberra Raiders at uh, Bankwest Stadium. Uh, I'll go for the team changes. So the team changes are for the Parramatta Eels. Are, I was not loading yet, just... Uh, Gotta wait for the. Gotta wait for it to load. Oh, here we go. It's finally loaded. Uh, but for changes for the Parramatta Eagles, uh, Penny Ter uh, Penny Terrapro drops out, and uh, coming in is um, I'm pretty sure it's Brad Sakaragi who comes in for the uh, Eels. Um, uh, for the Raiders, uh, no changes. Uh, they're one to seventeen after last week's la last week's loss to Manly. Um, the odds Eels are. One dollar sixty one and the Raiders two dollars thirty four. I'm gonna tip the Eels here. I feel like that they have more confidence at the moment and more and more of a polished attack than the Canberra Raiders at this stage. Um, wouldn't surprise me if Canberra really came out and uh, made up for last week's performance. But I feel like Eels uh, showed a lot of promise against the Roosters and I feel like that um they'll get they'll just um they'll edge the Raiders out in a close one I reckon and. Uh, yeah, I think the Eels will be brought up for it. So I'm going to go going to go the Eels here, 18 points to 12. Actually, 18 points to 14. So Eels win 18 points to 14 over Canberra. Uh, Sunday football, and it's my Manly Sea Eagles take on the Cronulla Sharks at Central Coast Stadium. And, uh, so yeah, let's go for the changes. So for Manly, uh, Dylan Walker is unfortunately out with his uh, ankle injury. And uh, Tom Trevojevic has uh, just made me, this made me really sad today. Tom Trevojevic out with a grade two partially teed uh, hamstring. For the Sharks, um, they're 1 17 after last week's win over the Bulldogs. The odds, Manly are $1.63 and the Sharks $2.28. Um, 
we have a pretty good record against Cronulla, and I feel like that we can turn up for this game. So I'm going to go Manly here. Um, not much too much, not much too much. So I'm going to go Manly here, 20 points to 10. Uh, I feel like that guys like Daly Cherry Evans really step up for us. I feel like uh, Big and Fanua Blake have a good game. And you know what? I, I feel like young Tevita Funa, who's already played two games for us, will, will do pretty well. So I'm going to go Manly here, 20 points to 10. Now, last game of, uh, of Sunday football, it's between the Bulldogs and the Tigers at Bankwest Stadium. Um, so the changes for the West Tigers are... Uh, is there any team changes? Yeah, there is a few. Alex Twow has um, been injured, so he's out. Robert Jennings has been injured, so he's out. And so is St. Musgrove, also injured. So replacing those guys are uh, Matthew Eisenhoof comes at lock. Oliver Clark starts at prop for um, St. Musgrove. And um, replacing Robert Jennings on the wing is, uh, who is it? Tommy, Tommy Talao replaces um, Robert Jennings. Any changes for the Bulldogs? Um, yeah, Christian Crichton's been uh, Christian, Christian Crichton's been suspended, so he goes to um, he's out of the team. Kieran Holland goes to the centres, and Dal Martinez Lesniak goes to the wing. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Oh no, Jack Hogger comes on the interchange for the Bulldogs. So uh, the odds: the Tigers are one um, one dollars fifteen, and the Bulldogs are two dollars sixteen. You know what? I'm tipping a bit of an upset here. I actually think the Bulldogs will win. I've, I've been tipping the Bulldogs for a while and uh, wasn't too confident. But I'm going to go Bulldogs, actually. I think they can turn up. I think Tigers, they're still too inconsistent, the Tigers. And um, usually they kind of fall against the Bulldogs. And Bulldogs have a pretty good record against the Tigers. It's pretty decent. And I feel like Bulldogs will just grind out this win quite well. And I feel like they'll be the better side at the end of the day. So I'm going to go Bulldogs here. Um... 16 points, 16 points to 12. I feel like um, guys like Dale Martini's Lesnar you know, will do well. And oh yeah, and uh, uh, Hop Wide, you have another good performance at fullback. So yeah, I'm going to go Bulldogs, 16 points to 12. We know over the Tigers. So guys, that's my round seven uh, tips. Uh, let me know yours in the comments down below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.